The Great Steppe, where the civilizations of the East, West, and South blend into one. Where Europe looks towards Asia, and Asia melts into Europe. These borderlands are flexible territory for economic opportunities and new projects with neighboring countries. Here, in the southeast of the Russian plain, lies Orenburg region, an industrious, welcoming commercial center where the boldest visions can take root and any project can flourish. A place like no other, the very heart of Eurasia. This land combines beauty with functionality, and a major role is played by the large industries which excavate and process the rich resources of the South Ural mines. We mine and process over 70 types of minerals, produce tens of thousands of end products and aim to expand our industrial activities with new technology and the creation of new employment opportunities. Because of advances in excavation capabilities in the realm of fossil fuels, along with the production of new products, we anticipate an expansion in the oil and gas sector. Plans are currently underway for the creation of a joint venture for sulfur granulation and the development of a gas chemical cluster. Equally important is the metals sector, which is also the pride of the region. This industry has established itself in the east of the region in the foothills of the southern Urals. The production chain for this sector originates deep underground. Our industrial experts excavate and process the metal ore, transforming it from a raw material into crude stock for the metalworking and mechanical engineering industries. The range of end products is growing, and new investment projects are planned. For example, at one well-known mechanical engineering enterprise, we are putting together a massive industrial cluster targeted at ensuring the multifaceted development of the east of the region by establishing a solid infrastructure and promoting technological cooperation between companies and research centers. We are also developing methods for training highly skilled workers for new ventures. One of the early successes of this investment program has been the construction of a new railway carriage plant built to answer the urgent needs of the country. Orenburg region is a sunny land. The soil is fertile and the land is vast, perfect for cultivating grains and oil-bearing crops. Homegrown animal fodder is an integral part of the vibrant beef and dairy industry. Here, on the vast plains, is all you could possibly need for new agrarian projects targeted not only at the domestic, but also the global market. We understand and value our resources and are developing our farming industry, extending an invitation to worthy partners. We have made every effort to enhance Orenburg's investment climate and have passed a series of laws to attract investors to this region. Why do we need investment? In today's climate, this is our primary instrument for growth. We invest in education and health 
and have been building up post-industrial innovative economic sectors, including biotechnology and ecotechnology, and have made great strides in the realms of energy efficiency and new materials. In developing the existing economy of Orenburg and creating new branches of it, we realize that we have not only inherited this land from our ancestors, but are borrowing it from our children. This is why we select projects that generate profit with minimal impact on the environment. This is how our government works, and the first steps in this direction have already been taken. A comprehensive overhaul of the region's major industrial plants has been initiated, streamlining production techniques and introducing cutting-edge technologies. An economic revival is underway in previously industrialized regions. Lands requiring reclamation and cultivation are receiving the help they need. Waste rock and slag from steel production are already being processed into cement. Our industrial policies are aimed at the integrated use of resources and the creation of interrelated branches of the economy. For example, a major industry in the south is providing the impetus for a spa resort comparable to the Dead Sea. The Ilyetsk salt mines are being transformed into a major resort and health spa. At the moment, the spas and therapeutic mud are only available in the short summer season, but we are working hard to make our leisure facilities available all the year round. We foresee great developments in the Orenburg hospitality industry. The extraordinary beauty of the region and the vivid history of Central Eurasia makes Orenburg a popular destination. Orenburg region is buzzing with activity, with numerous proposals for active leisure pursuits and educational holidays. After taking a break here and getting to know the area better, you can explore our history and maybe even unlock the gateway to new economic opportunities on the Russian steppe. Indeed, the International Transit Corridor linking the European Union to China will widen Orenburg's investment landscape. This land bridge will not only be the shortest route between Asia and Europe, it will also bring part of the Eurasian community flow to Russia. And so, the areas for development are evident. To implement these plans, we have created an integrated project team with representatives from government agencies and investors. The foundation has been laid for creating and developing support mechanisms for investment projects in the region's municipalities. Our system of professional training will guarantee that any project will find the specialized workforce required to get the job done. Today, the government of Orenburg is offering the best investment conditions in Russia with opportunities for regional support. We provide real assistance in freeing you from other expenses not associated with your projects. Our investors are guaranteed direct access to top regional officials responsible for economic issues, and anyone considering starting a business can confirm this. We are motivated by love and respect for our land. Our business relations are characterized by trust and openness. We will make profits, not at the expense of the country, but for the benefit of it. Welcome to our region. We look forward to meeting you. Let's get to work.